and welcome to today's video. Now take a look at what I have here. Take a look at this. See how rich and thick this is? Well, this is an anti-aging facial mask that I whipped up in the kitchen. Now this facial mask guys is all natural. It contains natural ingredients, natural vitamins and minerals such as vitamin A, vitamin C. This also is very hydrating. It will have to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. It also will have to smooth the skin, clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this facial mask using all natural ingredients, follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip it up. I also will come back and show you how to use it on your skin for best result. So let's go whip this up and then we're gonna do the application. Now here's the first natural ingredient and this is cucumber. And cucumber is great for the skin overall. Cucumber contains natural hydrating properties that will help to hydrate the skin, help to plump that skin up, and keep the skin soft and supple. Cucumber also have anti-aging properties that help to combat premature aging. Now when you're using your cucumber for your facial recipes at home, do not peel your cucumber. It's best to wash your cucumber since the peel of the cucumber contains most of the important vitamins and minerals that is going to help your skin to look amazing. So guys, I'm going to wash my cucumber thoroughly and if you're in doubt about washing the cucumber, you can choose to wash it in some vinegar water. All right, and rinse and then it's good to use on the skin. So I'm going to chop my cucumber in small pieces since we're going to be blending. At this stage, if you do not have a blender, you can go ahead and you can use a grater. I have a small blender and that's why I'm chopping it for easier blending. So I'm going to place my cucumber in a blender. Now do not add any water to this cucumber. You want to blend it as is. It's going to produce its own water. And now we are going to blend. Now after blending, what I'm going to be doing is straining. We want to strain to get rid of any form of a lump since we want this to be a cucumber puree. So just pour in a strainer and strain. If you grate your cucumber, also strain. And if you do not have a strainer, you can use a cheesecloth or any form of a marina to strain your cucumber. So let's just strain. Now after straining, take a look. Here we have our cucumber puree, nice and thick. And now we are gonna put this aside and we're gonna introduce the next ingredient. Now the next ingredient is green tea and a green tea face mask can help benefit your skin in a variety of ways. Not only can it protect your skin from premature aging, UV damage, redness and irritation, but it also has the ability to fight off bacteria. It also helps to smooth wrinkles and fine lines and hydrates the skin. So I'm taking one green tea bag, adding it to a bowl, and what I'm gonna do next, I'm using a quarter cup of hot water, make sure the water is boiling, and I'm gonna pour this over our green tea. What I'm simply doing is brewing the tea. Now if you do not have tea bag, use one teaspoon of loose green tea. So I'm going to give this a stir and I'm going to set this aside to brew for a couple of minutes while we prepare the other ingredient. Now our next ingredient is rice and today I'm using white rice. However guys, use whatever kind of rice you have in this recipe. So I'm using a quarter cup of the rice. I'm going to pour this in the blender. What I'm really making is rice cream. And to make the rice cream, you're gonna blend the rice dry. Do not add any water, just blend the rice dry to begin with. So let's just cover and blend. 
Now, rice contains natural antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin A, phenolylic and flavonoid compound, which may minimize free radical damage from age and the environment. Rice also will help to smooth and hydrate the skin. So after blending the rice, take a look at this. This is how you want it to be. This is rice powder. And to store your rice powder, you can choose to put it in a jar, cover it tightly, and keep it in your refrigerator, which it can last way over six months. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of this rice powder. I'm pouring it in the blender. And now I'm reaching back for my green tea. Now the green tea needs to still be hot for this process. So I'm using one tablespoon of the green tea. We're not straining. We're using as is. And I'm using one tablespoon of the cucumber puree. Putting all of this in the blender. And I'm going to cover and I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend this to a nice smooth paste. Now after blending, take a look, this is it. And next I'm going to pour this in a storage jar. Now guys, you do not want this mask to be too thick. This consistency right here is perfect for this mask. This is a mask that's going to dry on the skin and this is how you want it to be. Now guys, here I have two optional ingredients. I have honey and I also have aloe vera gel. You can choose to use either or either, or you can choose to use both in this recipe. Now we do not need a lot in this recipe. A little goes a long way. So we're gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of the honey. If you're using aloe vera gel, use a half of a teaspoon also. And now we're gonna mix and we're gonna mix well. After mixing, take a look at what we have here. Here we have our cucumber green tea anti-aging facial mask. You can choose to store this mask in your refrigerator for up to seven days. So what I'm gonna do next, guys, I'm gonna go on the other side and show you how to use this amazing goodness on your skin for best result. So here we have the facial mask and to apply this facial mask you want to start with clean skin. It's always good to apply your mask and clean skin. Now I'm going to use my hands to apply this mask. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour some in my hands like this and a little goes a long way, okay? This is good for about three application. And then I'm just going to rub the mask in my hands. I'm rubbing the mask as if I'm using a scrub. And then I'm gonna apply it on my skin in circular motion, all over. So what you're basically doing is using the mask to exfoliate your skin. So just apply it on your skin. It's good to go under the eyes. Once your face is completely covered, with the facial mask, what you're gonna do, you're gonna leave it on your skin for at least 30 minutes. Now this mask is gonna dry on the skin. When it's drying on the skin, you're gonna feel a tightening sensation. Not to worry, that is the mask working on your skin. So leave it on for about 30 minutes or so. When that is done, you are gonna rinse your skin, preferably with some room temperature water. After rinsing your skin, just pat dry the skin and apply your favorite products, your toner, your serum, and your moisturizer. Now this mask is good to use at least two to three times per week for best result. I'm already feeling the mask tightening on my skin. It's dry rather quickly. Look at this guy, see? It dry rather quickly. So if you're short in time and you only have 15 minutes, you can still use this facial mask on your skin. So there you have it. This is how I made this amazing facial mask. And as you can see, it contains all the vital nutrients and minerals that you need to have your skin hydrated, soft, supple, and younger looking. So what are you waiting for? Go and give this facial mask a try. I suggest that you use it for a couple of weeks and then come back and leave a comment. Take a before and after picture if you have to, okay? Thank you.